history. What other big uh, pieces of legislative work are you most uh, uh, well uh, happy with, or I uh, think most significant? I uh, I think one of the things that I authored was the uh, Kansas Comparative Negligence Act, which abolished the harsh doctrine in tort law of contributory negligence. What it allowed was that uh, you could compare the negligence of of parties and give a partial damages to somebody, even if the, if the injuries they had were partly their fault, they wouldn't be banned from from recovering anything. They would get something uh, attributed to the to the wrongful party, and uh, I authored that and, and got it passed, and it became a model for other other states. It was a, a, the way we did it is you couldn't recover unless you were less negligent than the, than the defendant, the person you're suing. And, and that model was enacted verbatim in 17 other states. So I, I feel kind of proud of, of that piece of legislation. And I, interestingly, I was able to try one of the first comparative negligence wow. cases as a lawyer. Uh, and it was a, it was a classic case where comparative negligence was involved. It involved a, uh, uh, a highway construction worker working on a summer uh, road crew and a person going through the construction so it's speeding through the construction uh, zone and uh, of course my client uh, immediately told the police uh, on the police report is I never saw the car I, mean, I never saw what hit me and uh, of course, that meant that he wasn't looking, and therefore he was negligent. But the person driving the car at a high rate of speed through a construction zone was also negligent. So we tried that case, and, and uh, he was able to collect some of his damages. 